The magnetic field is an intriguing physical phenomenon. It's unseen and untouchable, yet it indisputably exists. In numerous instances, the magnetic field produced by permanent magnets has significantly facilitated our lives and work. Permanent magnet motor and speakers, for instance. They rely on this magnetic field to function effectively and play crucial roles in these devices. However, there are certain scenarios where the magnetic field generated by permanent magnets needs to be shielded or weakened. For example, the interior of a mechanical watch contains many steel parts. When a magnet approaches, it can seriously interfere with the normal operation of the watch and may even lead to irreparable malfunctions. The most common situation is that when the hairspring is magnetized and the coil is close, some structures will stick together. The hairspring becomes shorter, the vibration frequency becomes higher, and the speed of the pointer will increase. If a watch is placed on a huge speaker, the speed of its hands might be several times faster. So how can we avoid this situation from happening? Well, it demands not only a profound comprehension of the characteristics of the magnetic field, but also the employment of some specialized approaches and materials. Firstly, we need to know that the type of magnetic field generated by a permanent magnet is a static magnetic field. The magnetic field intensity and direction of a static magnetic field do not change over time, and it is generated by the stationary charge distribution or constant current. In contrast, there is a dynamic magnetic field, such as an alternating current electromagnetic field, which changes periodically over time. We can shield the stationary magnetic field by using ferromagnetic materials with high magnetic permeability. These materials can efficiently guide and concentrate the magnetic field lines and prevent the magnetic field from spreading. Common shielding materials include pure iron, permalloy, and silicon steel. Besides magnetic permeability, we also need to consider the magnetic saturation point of these materials. The magnetic saturation point refers to the maximum magnetic field strength that the material can withstand. If this value is exceeded, the material can no longer effectively guide. More magnetic field lines and its magnetic permeability will decrease significantly. The magnetic saturation points of different materials are different. For example, although permalloy has a higher magnetic permeability than pure iron, its magnetic saturation point is relatively low. After understanding the above knowledge, we can try to shield the magnetic field of the permanent magnet. Generally, Simply placing an iron plate in the direction where the magnetic field is to be shielded can effectively shield most of the magnetic field in this direction. It can be seen from the figure that as the thickness of the iron plate increases, the shielding layer can guide more magnetic field lines through the shielding layer and finally achieve effective shielding on one side of the magnetic field. The higher the magnetic permeability of the material and the thicker the shielding layer, the better the shielding effect. According to the characteristics of different shielding materials, we can also combine them for use to achieve a better shielding effect. In the first layer of this magnetic field shielding structure, we used an iron plate. Pure iron has a quite high magnetic saturation point, which enables it to excellently absorb a large amount of magnetic field lines at this layer and avoid the entire system from reaching the saturation state prematurely. Next is the second layer. We filled it with materials of low magnetic permeability, such as plastic or rubber. Doing so, on the one hand, can enhance the stability of the overall structure. On the other hand, it can also effectively prevent the magnetic field overflowing from the saturated iron plate from being directly transferred to the outermost shielding material. Not only that, this layer can also attenuate the magnetic field strength to a certain extent, further improving the shielding effect. The third layer is permalloy. Although its magnetic saturation point is not as high as that of the iron plate, given that the soft iron plate in the previous layer has absorbed most of the magnetic field lines, the ultra-high magnetic permeability of permalloy allows it to capture the remaining magnetic field lines very effectively to ensure the complete shielding of the magnetic field. The fully enclosed shielding layer can guide the magnetic field lines more effectively and it's capable of completely isolating the magnetic field. It should be noted that it is best to wrap sensitive items with a smaller shielding layer. A large shielding enclosure significantly changes the path of the magnetic field lines. And for this, it requires a higher magnetic permeability to achieve complete shielding. The edges of the shielding layer are preferably rounded corners. Because magnetic field lines have difficulty suddenly changing direction at a 90 degree angle. At the sharp edges of the shielding layer, they may break through the shielding layer and enter the protected area. Therefore, a spherical shielding layer of the same size has a better shielding effect than a rectangular one. 
When constructing the shielding box, the seams where iron plates are spliced must ensure good contact. Any poor contact situation may increase the magnetic resistance, thereby weakening the shielding effect. Therefore, the contact area at the seams should be increased as much as possible. Besides ferromagnetic materials, you can also use superconductors for static magnetic shielding. When a superconductor is below its critical temperature, it can completely repel the magnetic field, which is known as the Meissner effect. Superconducting shielding can provide almost perfect magnetic field isolation, but it requires a low temperature environment to maintain the superconducting state, thus resulting in high cost and complex implementation. Thank you for watching. If you think it's not bad, you can give it a like and subscribe to our channel. If you are interested in permanent magnet products, you can contact us. See you next time.